Okay, let's jump in and look at using a Selenium bath process in Emulsion 4 on a digital file. So we're gonna come in here to Photoshop. I have an image that's already been converted to black and white. It looks good, it's got great detail, it's got great aesthetic, it's ready to go. I could print this as is, as a true monochrome, if you will. This is the point where you have to decide. And if you're a silver user, if you're a blackroom user, these are more our monochrome base conversion, whereas Emulsion is more about the darkroom chemical tinting. The cool thing about selenium is it's almost a ubiquitous look. That is to say, a lot of photographers in the darkroom use selenium on all their prints because it actually in the darkroom helps preserve the prints and it's also used by some people for a creative tint, as I'm gonna show you here, but it's also used as a way just to kind of get that neutral black and white look, kind of get rid of a little bit of the green hewing that comes from the dark room sometimes. So what we think of as doing a tint is actually an essential process in a lot of dark rooms because even though now with digital printers we can print with true monochrome inks, in a real dark room, different chemicals, papers, and processes gave us different subtleties of hue even though it was a true black and white photo, which is a little weird to think about. But let's, with that in mind, look at making a selenium here. I'm gonna go to platinum in the actions panel and I'm gonna run the base action first, just like always when I run platinum and emulsion four. Okay, so now I have my platinum look. It looks really good. I can play around with my settings, but no, I want a selenium look. Let's go to the base selenium bath. And this is kind of, emulating a one to 10 ratio. And what I mean by that is in selenium, a selenium is actually a bath that happens after the main print is made in the dark room. So you finish your print and then you do a selenium bath. It doesn't even actually have to be in the dark to do a selenium bath, but it gives you this chemical process and there's variant. So depending on the time, the ratio, things like that. There's an article, a couple articles, and I will link them in the comments of this video if you want to learn more about it. But needless to say, I did my homework when I created the selenium actions within Emulsion 4 so we can get really authentic quality looks that pay homage to true selenium in the dark room. Now, if we come back to this, you can see I have my master tint adjuster as always. If I turn it down on the low side, around 40%, you can see here that the effect is very subtle. But you know what you might also be seeing? Even though this here is the true monochrome and this is the selenium, sometimes the selenium look can actually seem more like a true black and white than the one that's true monochrome. And that again goes back to what I just was saying you might have a more gallery kind of experience here because so many traditional darkroom black and white prints are processed in selenium that it almost feels like a normal black and white print and sometimes a pure monochrome feels a little too sterile by comparison. The difference can be very subtle. Now, if we come back to our selenium, you see we have some options. And sometimes people do their selenium in different ways. For the example, they do a stronger ratio to make it warmer. And we can mix that warming ratio with this. When you're doing selenium, you get different effects on different paper types and different chemical baths. So if I turn on the warmer and I turn both the master tint adjuster and the warmer, up to 100, I get this warm, almost platinum look, but kind of different because it's selenium tones, not the color tones that go along with platinums. And those are all controlled for you and added for you here in your gradient map of the master tint adjuster so you can quickly adjust them. You can also do, for example, a gold bath. This is something else that people do. It's expensive in the dark room, but mixing gold in with your selenium will actually give you another variant of the effect. And of course, as with all the main effects, which kind of represent the baseline for Emulsion 4, the variants also give you options. And so you can see here, if I click the remix, it gives me more of a one to five kind of ratio, which is a much stronger selenium mix. A one to five ratio starts bringing out those warm tones because selenium processing works from the shadows up. So as you process longer and stronger, you start to affect 
shadows in the image and I'm speaking to how the darkroom works as we go through these videos. And in doing that, I've tried to implement that accurately in the way that Emulsion 4 simulates that. Obviously, when you're doing a real selenium print, you're gonna get different results with different processes and mixes. The beauty is that in Emulsion, you're gonna get the same because the way you mix the layers, the level you put your master tint, whether you put gold baths or warmers or any of these things, they differently affect your highlights, your shadows, and all the different elements of the image. And then, of course, we can come in here and we can mix around different layers and textures, do expanded tin options, and push it further. I'm actually going to switch back to the selenium toner bath, which is our base selenium. This represents pretty much a one to 10 ratio and just leave kind of a neutral selenium there because I think for this particular one, it looks great. Instead of that very sterile monochrome kind of look, we have an accurate selenium kind of feel that's very subtle and it's going to print beautifully. And then we're gonna take a look in the next video about mixing it up more with the curves and tones and the mods so that we can get even more out of this.